Hello guys and welcome to this video. In this video I will show you how to configure a virtual gateway on the uh, on Azure and then connect it to to Meraki through a site-to-site -site VPN connection. So I will start step by step from Azure and then I will also configure it on the Meraki dashboard. So first and foremost we'll need to create a virtual gateway so let's do that. Create All right, you choose your subscription there, and then you give it a name. Mine is in West Western Europe, and I'll choose the default SKU here. There are some SKUs that do not support uh, some settings, so check that out before you continue on. I'm just gonna choose the default ones. I have already created a virtual network. I'll choose the default subnet. I will create a new public IP. Let's give it a name. And availability zone one and no active active. Let's see next. Next there so create this is gonna take some time to deploy as you see it is still spinning so gonna wait for that but in the meanwhile I will create a local network gateway which will be used to connect to our Meraki dashboard so let's go here to local gateway create All right, so let's put it in the same resource group as we have our uh, virtual gateway. Let's add a name to Meraki. IP address of the Meraki device. To find that, we go to the Meraki dashboard, appliance status. All right, so just copy the IP address here. You will also see it here on the one. So I already copied it. I will go back to Azure and I will paste it in here. So it's already pasted. As you can see, now we can enable some IP addresses that we want to reach from here. So first and foremost, let's go to the Meraki and let's go to site-to-site -site VPN settings. All right, we have the default, we have all VLANs here enabled for VPN mode, which is good. Now let's add a range here. Let's see, what do we had? 128, so this is the one we will choose. Copy that, enter it here, and let's go to next. Now BGP settings, and you'll have your IP address of the Meraki here, and the address space which we entered. So create. Now we're initializing the deployment. As you see, we still have the Uh, two deployments still going on here, as you can see. So they're not done yet. The virtual uh, network gateway is not done. Now it's actually created. So our local gateway, network gateway is created. As we can see here, we have it. And the virtual gateway network I think it's spinning here, but as we can see, it is actually here. Let's see if we can enter. Let's click on connections here. So here is where we add the the uh, 
connection to the other side already created the, the local network gateway so we'll enter that here also it's not a vnet to vnet it's a site to site ipsec so iraqi western europe next settings here we have let's see here uh, so we'll have to actually wait for the deployment to complete so meanwhile let's create a virtual machine while we wait for the uh, virtual network gateway to be completed let's create some right let's put it in the same resource group VM test West Europe zone 1 let's see if we can just pick one of them just for testing and uh, let's take the cheapest one here let's choose password Great, as I say, it's just alright. See the disk, uh, we don't need premium. Let's take uh, standard HDD and let's create this virtual machine. Alright, so as soon as it is, at, it is as it is created, we will see it here. So from here we have the uh, resource group that we're using. Site to site, IPSEC. To Meraki, let's call it that, West Europe. And here we choose our virtual gateway, which is the one we created. And also we should see... the uh, local network gateway. Which is called to Meraki. Let's just see that we don't have the same. Let's change the name here. Ipsic to Meraki. There. And then, all right. So, a pre shared key. Let's just choose Cisco and exclamation mark 2323. Let's save that here. And ekev version 2. Okay, custom policy. And here we can enter some settings. Let's just see what uh, we can use for the Meraki. Let's go to site to site here. Let's remove this first and foremost. All right, add a pair and name to Azure. EK version 2. And here is where we enter the public IP of the virtual gateway. But first, I'll just want to see some settings here. Let's see, uh, you can choose a preset of Azure. So here we, we got the uh, all the phase one and phase two for the IPSEC tunnel. So this one is what we are going to use on the other side. So let's go to Azure. We have AES256 Yeah, SHA1 for the authentication SHA1 and TH group 2 Then what do we have more here? Uh, <coughs> Lifetime uh, Yeah, that's for phase two 
let's go back. All right, that's correct. So now we have done this phase one. As we can see here, we did AES256, SHA-1, and group two. And then lifetime for phase one is actually not listed here. So by default, Azure will choose 28,000. 800 so it's not specified here in Azure so but it is that by default so let's continue so so far we're correct we don't enter this one here let's go to phase 2 AES 256 same there and we have what was it there yeah we can use either one of them here as you see they have added they have added them here so they are all available and also here for the encryption so encryption for this one sha1 and group i think it was two for that too and pfs group off all right let's turn that off none all right, so now it's only the lifetime left. Lifetime, 3,600. So enter that here, 3,600. We don't have any NAT rules right now. So that's gonna be left untouched. Now we go to the next. So create. So here we see the public IP, copy that, go to Meraki, and here we will enter the public IP. There, shared secret, Cisco, exclamation mark, 2323. And then private subnets, so let's for now keep it a slash eight. Availability. Uh, so basically what you can do is you can tag it. So if you only want one network to be able to use this peer, you can choose that network. We haven't added any tags right now, but uh, for now, let's let's pick all networks, and we'll change that later. So add, save. Yeah. So I basically have some local VPN that is overlapping, but that's okay. You can save it. All right. So let's actually ch add a tag here. Let's see. Add a tag. Uh, let's go to overview. So we don't have any tags here. Let's see if I can add a tag to this Luminate network. Right, so as you see now, it's tagged with non Meraki. Now let's go back to site to site VPN. And let's apply that to the non Meraki VPN. So here we have no, uh, all networks. Now let's edit it and see if we can only add the ones I had there. So there. Now you can see it non-Meraki, which means uh, these settings I added here will only be applied to my Luminate network, not the other site one, site two, which is good if you only need the non-Meraki VPN connection. 
from a network to Azure and not the whole organization, for example. So let's save that. And confirm changes here. Let's see. Now, I think this should be set up actually. Let's see if I missed something. Why the tunnel is not up yet. Let's see if I have a virtual machine. Great. See the IP address. All right, so this is my IP address. Let's try to ping something to Meraki. And successful ping. So this IP address here, it's the Meraki MX IP. So if we go to addressing and VLANs, you can see that here actually. Here, so 192.168.128.1. So that is the Meraki IP. So let's just check for, if we go to the uh, virtual network gateway, let's check connections. Should say, hmm. for some reason it's not updated yet, but as we see, we already have a connection. Let's check on the Meraki. So you can check that on VPN status. As you see here, it is online. So from Meraki's uh, point of view, the connection to Azure is working. And from the test we did from the VM, it's not updated yet here, as we can see for some reason. But uh, soon enough, it will. Okay, maybe if we refresh, no, okay. Well, anyways, it is working, as you see. We could also test something else here. Let's add Let us add one thing more here. Let's see if we can reach that also. And Safe. Uh, yeah, that's no problem. And that's no problem either. Let's see if I want to ping. This should not work because I don't have that in the table. Now, let's try to ping this IP address from our VPN. Let's go to appliance status. And from tools, there. So we're gonna initiate from VLAN one and ping. So 11 will not work because we don't have it in the local network gateway. As you see, this is how you configure non Meraki VPN, how you configure it uh, in Azure also. So that's all I wanted to show you guys for this, uh, for this uh, lecture. Thank you for watching. Bye.